What's up, everybody? It's Soren Baker on Unique Access Entertainment. We're joined by the Icon Kid. Thank you for coming through. Hey, Soren. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We are here here for the Salt and Pepper star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, yeah. Kid, you've seen him from the Genesis yeah. up till today. Yes. What's the, as you look back, the significance of this moment for them, but also for hip hop culture? Um, I mean, I think it's pretty amazing. I mean, they are, you know, in my opinion, will always be the first ladies of hip hop. Um, paved the way for so many um, of the female rappers of today. Uh, but, you know, for, for us, for playing myself, it's personal. You know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't be a kid and play without Salt and Pepper. Uh, they, they was instrumental in our career, and they go Salt right there. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, they wouldn't be kid and play without Salt and Pepper. And um, so we're just here for them. Uh, we love them. Couldn't imagine not being here. Right. Right. I don't want to miss my ride, okay? All right. Last question. Come to the after thing. Oh, we're going to be there. Um, the other thing is, Salt and Pepper also was among the first wave of artists. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm right behind you. So, you guys and they were among the first artists that really had a lot of music videos. Yeah. And their music videos were very memorable, very funny, but yeah. also very powerful. Yes. So what, as you look back at the evolution of rap too, what's the significance of Salt and Pepper's early videos to what they became? Well, I mean, they were pretty amazing. And, and actually, you know, playing myself were in, in quite a few Tramp. of them. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I think that, you know, that had a lot to do with uh, Herbie Lovebug and, and um, you know, his vision that he had for Salt and Pepper and then later on had for Kid and Play. Um, and, and another thing I'd always uh, like to um, have people remember is how Salt and Pepper were always uh, positive. Yeah. You know, they were telling they were telling women to respect themselves. They were telling women to to uh, be proud of themselves and their accomplishments. Uh, and they, you know, we haven't always seen that in our business. So uh, I think that's really important. All right, well there it is. Well, thanks man. for coming through, Sorry, Baker. I want you to listen real close to me. I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions and I want some real simple answers. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, I, I understand. You said that you couldn't have possibly been at the crime scene at 11.15 because you were in the bookstore buying my audio book and my hardcover book at 11.15 when the crime scene occurred in Soren's book. The history of gangster rap. So you couldn't have been at the crime scene because you were buying the books. Right, right. At 11.15, I was, I was at the bookstore at, at 11.15 and when, when I, bought, I bought the books and accidentally left them at the store. So at 11.15, you couldn't have been at the crime scene because you were buying books, right? At 11.15, I was, we, we was, when I was leaving, it was, it was some people coming in, and I, I, I forgot to grab But you, you, you don't remember who what they look people, like. What they look like or nothing, right? No. Hmm. So. At 12.15, you went to the bookstore buying my audio book and hardcover book and Soren's book at 12.15, so you couldn't have been at the scene because you were buying the books, right? Yeah, at 12, exactly, at 12, at 12.15, exactly, I was at the bookstore. <laughs> You know you know fucked up. Which, which you know, one? First you said you were at the bookstore at 11.15 and then you said you were at 12.15. You know you know fucked up. He fucked up. Yeah, he 
fucked up. You fucked up. Man, you you confusing me, man. So, you get my book, my audio book, 40 years, and Soren's book, History of Gangster Rap, and if you don't, you know you're not fucked up, right? Man, the more those cops ask me questions, the more I wish I bought them motherfucking books. <laughs>